This is nasty. Bro, I wasn't expecting this. I can't even lie. Amen. Try to go try to drive the, the McLaren Elva. The Elva. What in the hell is the Elva? You know what? Most of us have never even heard of the McLaren Elva. Hey, if you guys know what the Elva is, drop a comment here. Let me know what you think about this car. It's a $2 million car, basically. All right, 1.7, but taxes, options, it's $2 million. So we're about to go see what it is. So I'm gonna get to drive with that baby. We're gonna see. Wonder if they let me do donuts. <laughs> so look, I was invited right down to Beverly Hills to drive the McLaren Elva, you know? I'm like, the Elva? Does that car really exist? Y'all gonna let me drive it? Like drive it, drive it, or drive it? You know what I'm saying? You know, cause there's a difference when I drive it, drive it. You know what I'm saying? If everybody's doing that throwback roadster without the windshield, yeah. right? So everybody's doing a car like that. I mean, Aston Martin did one like that. Ferrari did one like that with the Monza. Um, you know, it makes sense that McLaren did one, Mercedes did one like that. So those cars make sense in terms of somebody's figured out there's a demand. People will buy these cars that are not even street legal, but there's enough people that's buying these cars. And, you know, for the most part, they're more beautiful. They're just beautiful cars, right? So I get that. I don't get the speed tail though. Meaning I get that it's a hybrid technology, you know, like it's hybrid technology. So that's like dope. And it's so unique in terms of its look. It's like the, the, the F1, right? the modern day F1. Well, the modern, the, the old F1 blew everything away. You know, it just blew everything away. So I know the Speedtail has the seat in the middle, you know, and, you know, has crazy specs, but I kind of need it to be faster than the 765 LT. I think it's unique and I think it's very futuristic, but does it, you know, blow my mind in terms of aesthetics. How about yours? Nah, I don't know. Not me. Not you? It doesn't really blow my I, mind. It doesn't blow my mind in terms of aesthetically. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm very curious to see what this Alva, the Alva looks like relative to the Speedtail. This is the cram of the cram that, that McLaren has to offer. The only car that we're not gonna see in terms of the creme de la creme, um, is probably the, the F1. The F1's not here today, but we're gonna see everything else. This is nasty. This is, this is nasty. Bro, I wasn't expecting this. I can't even lie. This is amazing, right?
Wow. Hey guys, remember, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel so you can get all of the alerts and know when my stuff comes out. Now look, a lot of people wonder how I've made my money. Well, I've made my money as a businessman and I wanna help you do the same. So download my free one-page business plan where I give you video tutorials to help you jumpstart your business. So guys, this car looks amazing. So Ricky and I were talking on the way over here and we were saying, you know, you can't really tell what it looks like until you see it in person because you see, pictures of these supercars, hypercars in, on video, on pictures, and it doesn't look the same. And I'm telling you, my natural reaction when I saw it was like, wow, this is awesome. So you know, I'm not, no fake, not, nothing. This is just gorgeous. It's like a work of art. You like harness? Uh, no? We'll just do the, for the three point, so just the standard. So it has the harness seat belts and the regular three point. You know, the three point is the one that kind of just does this. The harness is when you're about to do something stupid, like on the track and like, yeah, go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so your steering right. wheel's in a good spot? Is your in a good I can bring it out? Yeah. So look, this car, stupid. When I say stupid, is stupid. Honestly, like when I say I ain't no shit, I, I don't know shit about cars. I mean, that's my new angle, right? I know nothing about cars. Because, you know, I know y'all watching, y'all like, oh, I know performance, I can drive, I know cars, blah, 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 blah. I watch a lot of YouTube about whatever. You know what I'm saying? Until you drive something like this, you experience something like this, I, I'm honestly thinking, you might not know. You might not know nothing about cars. It's a different experience, and uh, you know, somebody like two million. Yeah, it's a lot of money. I don't care. You know how much money you make. That's a lot of money, right? And so, uh, but you know what? It's inspirational because you ought to be able to buy whatever you want, right? And when you can't, you need to work a little harder. You know, me included, right? Me included because you know. If I bought this car, I have to move some things around. I have to change some things. But how is that? Is that so bad? Is that so bad? <laughs> okay. So, so here's the thing, though. Red, 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 but it's a deep red. And it actually changes colors as it gets to the back. And that's really dope, right? So the look is cool. And then, you know, in terms of the carbon fiber, it has these three big-ass pieces of the carbon fiber, like the hood, this particular side goes from all the way to that thing right there, all the way back here, and then you got the other side. So that's three pieces of major piece of the carbon fiber. And then you have like the minor pieces, which is like 
just the tail, um, the little hood deck where you keep your, your helmet and the doors. But that's all carbon fiber. So the car is really light. It's like 2,500 pounds dry, which is 100 pounds uh, less than the center. So it's a super light car. And because it's so light and because of, you know, the design of the car is a super good handling car. So it handles well. I could feel it, you know, just taking turns and then just driving it, stepping on it a little bit. I can feel the power and how engaging it is. But then that little thing that goes up that prevents the air going into your face, that was super dope, right? Um, super dope because it literally keeps the air from going in your face. So you're driving, you're getting all this like side wind and stuff and you're feeling, you're experiencing the car, but the air is not just pounding, you know, going right into your face. So it feels good and then when it goes up, or when you take it down, you get more engagement. You get more experience of, you know, just being out in the open. Damn near like you're driving, like you're in a motorcycle. So, so my, here's my thing. It's not about how fast you go, it's about how fast you go fast. So this car is that, and a lot of times when people say that, they're making excuses for their slow cars, right? They're making excuses for their little fast hatches and whatever, right? And I have fast hatches, right? I have a little mini coupe, you know? But, and, it, and it's fun, it's engaging, but this car is a hyper car, right? That, that gives you a completely different experience, right? It's a twin turbo, eight cylinder car, the same engine as the Senna. Definitely badass and it's changed my perspective of cars. So the thing is, I guess the moral of the story is, we gotta keep learning, bro. We gotta keep experiencing things. So sometimes we think we know it all, right? But we haven't experienced it all. So we gotta stay humble and keep going and keep learning. And that's in our understanding of our hobby and cars and stuff like that. But that's also in terms of our business and what we're trying to get really, really good at. And so, um, so it, gives, it, it changes my mind, you know what I mean? So when you learn something, I say this all the time, I say learning is a relatively permanent change in behavior as a result of experience. So what does that mean? It means that when I learn something, right, you haven't really learned it until you change your behavior. So the behavior I'm gonna change just by coming over and driving this car is that I'm gonna get a little bit more humble and be like, you know what, I need to learn a little bit more and keep experiencing That's what I'm about to do. How about you? Let me know what you guys think about the Alva. Hell, the Speed Tail. <laughs> we saw that car. What else did we see? We saw the Chiron, you know, which is cool. We saw the P1, which is cool. We saw a bunch of badass cars. Comment below, let me know which one of those cars, if you had the money, would you buy? And if it's not any of those, which one would you buy? What would you buy? If you had the money, money is no object. What would you buy? Damn, this is pretty dope. 145 million? Huh. Wait a minute, two million is a lot of money. Two, I mean, that's two million. Damn. Hey guys, if you like this video, you gotta check out Lambros part one.